Hello, I, uh, I'm Chris. I sing in the band Ailstorm. Hey, I'm Matty. I play guitar in the band Ailstorm. Um, uh, what is your use of history in your band? I mean, we, we have a couple of songs, I suppose, that we, you know, we hit on historical topic, topics because, you know, our thing is pirates. And I guess pirates are a real thing from history. Yeah. But I mean, most of what we say is it's mostly made up and from Disney movies, but <laughs> we have, like, I think... It's mostly the fun part of the pirate scene than yeah. the actual history. But, but there's a couple of bits we, we take from history. On the new album as well, you said No Grave by the Sea lyric. We, we actually, we, 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 have, we have a song about France losing. It's, uh, it's, one of, it's the, the, the title track of our new album is, is a song about France losing a battle and all the French people dying. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, in fact, uh, your songs are almost uh, funny and serious about uh, I mean, pirates, or yeah. more funny, uh, I guess. But I mean, it's you know, because like the, the, the reality of pirates, I think, is the history of pirates is very sort of, it's a bit depressing. You it know? is. And we're not depressing people. We. Um, it's not the best lifestyle to be a pirate. Exactly. You know, I think, <laughs> I think if, you, if we were to get too deep into the history of pirates. I think everyone would kill themselves. Yeah. I think our fans are like, oh, this is boring. They're on a ship and they keep dying and they keep getting diseases. And they're all smelly and live with rats and get that's, that's diseases. That's the thing. Sort of the reality of pirates is um, a lot different than the. You know, people think, oh yeah, Johnny Depp on the ocean drinking rum. You know, it's. I don't think there was really much of that. No. So that, but when, when we do sing about it, it's um, just battles. Yeah. Big battles. Big fucking battles. <laughs> Um, uh, what is your process of uh, writing and choose uh, a thematic? Uh, well, the music is mainly just like we use Guitar Pro because we live in different places on the planet, so we kind of just work online. And then if anyone has an idea, they just start a project, and then any, we could, we, anyone can access it and then like, work on it. Yeah, we just do it. We kind of collaborate over the internet, uh, putting songs together. And the lyrics, I suppose that's mostly me. Yeah, that's I just you know. I, I think of a topic, or like you know, often these days I go on Wikipedia a lot and find like cool things to write about. That's fine. It's just That's it's the same good. encyclopedia. Yeah, it's, it's great. It, it sounds really cheap, but it's, it's an encyclopedia. It's full of stuff. You know. That's you know, that's how I found out about like the, like say the title track of our new album. I was just searching, researching like battles in the Caribbean Sea and like you know, the age of piracy, and I found this cool one. It was the um, the Battle of the Saints. It was uh, after the. Um, after the Battle of Georgetown in like the American Civil War, because the uh, the French had helped the Americans defeat the English in the American Civil War in, in, in Georgetown, so uh, this English captain was taking revenge on the French captain. Um, uh, his name was a uh, Comte de Grasse, and so he uh, he killed him and he killed like, he captured him and killed a whole bunch of people and everyone died. And it was awesome. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, you're a big fan of history yourself? Uh, uh, inter okay. Interesting. I, mean, yeah. like, the, the, I, think, I think there's a limit to how much you can incorporate history and music without it getting too, um, you know, too much just like a textbook. You've got to take some liberties, you know, otherwise it's, you know, because like I say, reality isn't like, you know, because music's, I guess, kind of like movies where you've got to kind of twist things a bit and make it seem more cool. Yeah. So that you, if you really stick to the um, stick to the history, it gets a bit, uh, you know. This you think was so long time ago, you know, like even um, the writings that you see about it might not be even true anymore. Or, you know, it's just like legends. So you, you don't actually know what's true. So you just kind of. I know what's true. I've got a time machine. Make it up, I guess. <laughs> it's great. We try not to make up too much shit. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you sing uh, pirates hymns, or you create them? What's oh, sorry? You uh, sing uh, uh, pirates uh, 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 hymn or uh, song, or you create. I mean, we've we've used a couple of you know traditional melodies from you know times because like you know, a lot of these are like old like traditional like sea shanties things that really kind of cool. It's like you know when you think pirates, you think of those kind of you know like drunken sailors, sing along type, all those song, really yeah. kind of. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Some of them are kind of weird. Like I listened to a bunch of like sort of. Um, what do you call them? Sea shanties. And all of them are very strange, like to a modern ear. They don't quite, they don't kind of flow. But is there something that 
you can work on maybe like yeah. make it sound yeah, I mean, make it flow or yeah you can but it's like often have like really sort of weird meters and like sort of weird right. weird sort of um melodies that just don't seem right to cool. the modern ear you know but it's, um how you do um how you express uh, your uh, traffic of pirates uh, through your music uh, with uh, clothes, with lyrics, with um, cover of uh, your album? Yeah, we, we don't we don't dress. No, as part, you know, we don't dress. Again, you know, the main thing for us is being a band. You know, it's a band. It's not like a, it's not like a, a reenactment or anything. I feel like it's good to keep that separate. Yeah. Could very easily turn into comedy yeah, we, on its own. Yeah, we, uh, don't, you know. we don't want to be. I don't want people to think of us as some sort of you know dressy up band. We're like uh, it's, it's the main part. It's it, it's rock music. You know, basically. It's fun. That's that's it's the whole point. That's what we are. Yeah. You're fun. Sure, so much fun. Oh, you're the most <laughs> fun <laughs> hero. I'm you are. My question, but in, in fact, uh, most of my uh, most of my subscribers um, doesn't. Um, to listen uh, metal music. All right. So uh, the, the, the objective of this video is uh, also to discover many bands uh, to buy this subscriber. So it's why my question sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Is I, I think like, you know, compared to most metal bands, you know, metal bands are often very inaccessible and aggressive. Uh, we're not. No, I think it's, we're. I think it's especially with this new album. We're, we're reaching some new kind of. People. Yeah, we're pretty much, it's pretty much pop music these days what we do. It's, we don't have any of that sort of aggression or sort of, um, you know, but it's, 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 it's accessible Hard. aggression. We don't it's have, weird how we think of it and maybe the, the mainstream listener yeah, who guess. has no real oh, idea about metal. Crazy guys yeah. screaming so like screaming. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, I think it's fun. Yeah. It's, you know, I think it's, it's good music for anyone who, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily yeah. like this sort of thing. My part when I want to make a part of the party, yeah. I just yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's <laughs> cool. oh, that's, yeah. Um uh, so mainstream like pop music pretty much every song is about you know love and relationships and stuff and that's kind of that's kind of dumb and lame I think it's I guess it's just the, the nature of metal music it lends itself to sort of epic stories yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and, it's, your, and it's easy to create an atmosphere around it with stage production and, and, yeah. and clothes or gear or anything to, to make it look really good and make it look like as a, as a really good yeah, show it's like, it's like you, couldn't imagine like, if like, you look like Eminem Arf and like even yeah. Sabaton or all these bands, like it's not just the music but the, the whole production and everything, it's it's involving that kind of and it's something topic. Like, like the sound of like, like say, like, let's say you're Beyonce, you can't really, yeah, well, imagine Beyonce is singing like a song about like yeah, the English Civil War no. or something, like what? It just wouldn't, it just you know, the, the image of you know, this sort of urban pop music just doesn't seem to match, with, yeah, whereas metal has this sort of. I guess metal has a lot of influence from, you know, often like a classical, especially modern sort of symphonic metal, has a lot of influence from like more old music that it just seems more right to sort of mix it up with yeah. these tales of, you know, days of It old. started like, even like with Black Sabbath and all these bands, yeah. you know, just making up the, all these stories and have, you know, it's basically you. make it part of the yeah. music, not just, you know, what the songs are about, it's just actually what, what they do, so it's interesting. And do you think people, when they listen to uh, your bands, uh, can learn something about history and about pirates or uh, are interested after listening to your music? Maybe, probably they're research. interested, yeah. I'm sure they're interested. Maybe not learn too much about like that kind of life. Yeah, maybe it's from some of the songs that we mentioned. But yeah, I think even, even bands whose lyrics are just full-on history, you know, again, it's, yeah, you have to condense things, you have to cut things out. Yeah, you, you, you can't really learn anything. No. Too, but you can get you can get an interest and then yeah, I mean, and like, then you can read and then you can learn. I think. Even in good case, you can have only like three verses in a song and a chorus. Yeah. You know, like it's it's not you can't put like too much history in that kind of 
you know, but it can amount. Be, hey, this, but this, this subject interests me, and yeah. I'm going to read about it, and uh, that's yeah. how people get into so it. Maybe. I like this band. Yeah. This band sings about this thing, so I like this thing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.